I'm going to do an exercise for Wright-Patterson-Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making through the first part of a Wright-Patterson-Mahjong game where players pass tiles with each other in hopes of improving their dealt hand. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you could set yourself up for success. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do the exercise three times. We'll select from a set of four cards which player we're going to be, east, south, west, or north. And we'll also select one of four cards to identify the prevailing wind. For the first one, we're north. West is prevailing. Since we're north, I'm going to get 13 random tiles, and then I'll create a mock Charleston right across left. We have a pair of Norse, an East, green and white dragon, two, three, five, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of threes. And then we have a pair of nine bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for Betty. Betty is number 10 in pair hands. It's one of each wind and dragon with one paired and then three pairs of simples. So we would have to discard those. That would be a really risky pass though. So I don't think I would do that. The other thing we could maybe play is Razzle, which is five pairs in one suit with news, and that would allow us to pass safely. News with five pair. In order to pass safely, I think that's what I would try for. News with five pair. Let's pass these three. Oh, you know, just so you know, I was thinking of another, well, I was thinking Betty. I also thought, well, what about a gate hand, news, north with cracks? But we wouldn't need a pair. So that's why I would break up that north. So, for example, if we were to play that, maybe pass that and keep the north for the windy gate hand, but we'd have to throw that away. Either way, we're going to break up a pair. I think I would go for one suit or one suit in honors. Let's pass these. We've got an eight and a south. I would say that was a good choice. We have three discards. Five. So we almost have news and we have two pair. We need to pass. We could pass one blind. We have one, two, three, four tiles. So we could maybe pass the nine and pass fully. Three, five, pair, pair. I think I will do that. We've got the north back, which we really don't need. But after the Charleston here, 
for Razzle, five pairs with news. We have three discards. I'd say we're a front runner here. We need a West, and then we need to pair up the other cracks. Uh, and it could be any number. It doesn't have to be simples only for Razzle. It could be any number tile paired up. If you would have done something differently, write pull one in the video description below and what you would have done with these tiles. This time, we're going to be east, and prevailing is east. This will be interesting. We have North and South, Pair, Pung. In Dots, we have 278. In Bands, we have 259. And in Cracks, we have 359. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play a hand of honors, leverage the pair pawn, and then pass defensively with two, eight, five. Maybe, let's see here. One of each suit. That's one of each suit. Let's pass these three. Pair of eights. We got a pair of eights. And a pair of threes. Oh my goodness. Nines, north and south. Oh my goodness. Part of me is wondering, what about if we play neutrality? Let the nines go. We could do Susie Q, but we don't have any green dragon as an option. So probably what I would do is let the south go. Leverage these pairs. We have, oh, you know what? We need a different BAM. If we're doing neutrality, we need a different BAM because we've already got dots represented. So we would have to let those go. So let's do this. Let's pass these three and see if we can get a BAM in a number tile, two through eight. Four BAM. We can pass those. So we have neutrality. Red, two, three, nine. I would hold the south to see if maybe we can get a green dragon as an option. So maybe pass these three. We have another option, a two. Two or four. Three crack, eight dot, those can go. So we have an option with our south, neutrality potential, two pair, and then singles that we could maybe pair up to Pung for neutrality. We have three discards and a pair. That's five. We would be an underdog for this game. We have a, a ways to go here. But if we can pair this up quickly, we could Pung, Pung, Pung. We just need 
to build that one of those up, those would be discards in these two, unless we get a green dragon. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. South, south. We're going to be south and prevailing. So we'll get 13 tiles. We have Northwest, Pung of three cracks and a six. One seven in BAMs, one seven eight nine in dots with a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would leverage the multiples, three, seven, maybe try to play another number hand. We have north and west. As a fallback, one suit. If we get lots of dots, we can just sacrifice the threes. Let's pass those. One thing I was thinking is maybe we should keep, no, we have a three crack. I was thinking double numbers, three, seven, but we would need a three dot and seven crack. So that's not gonna be helpful. Okay, let's see what happens. We have in a south and a seven. <laughs> Three, seven. Okay, let's let the eight go. We have to make a choice. We need a bam and dragons. Let's let the one go. Oh my goodness. News, news with dots. We wouldn't be able to use a pong not with wins. Let's try to force a number hand. We don't need the eight either, but let's pass these. A three. <laughs> okay. And we have a six. Three, seven, six. Okay, let's let that go and that and that we need a different number. We need a BAM that's not a three or a seven. Well, we scored. We got a white for maybe Wally. And we have a two. Oh my goodness. So we have a potential for Wally. West white two we need to build that up and of course these but we have a kong and a pung three discards i would say we may be a contender but we're weak right here so we have a lot of work to do with this one if you would have done something differently with those tiles write it in the comment section below with pull three The purpose of the Charleston is to improve your dealt hand. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can set yourself up for success. Here's a guideline that can help gauge your decision making and also help manage your expectations for that game. If you have more than four discards after the Charleston, I would say you're an underdog and you're gonna have to work hard to complete your hand and be the first to say Mahjong. 
If you have four discards, I would say you're a contender for that game. If you have less than four, I would say you're a front runner and you could win that game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.